Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. Today I would like to talk about how to create this flower petal looking uh, seat for the Pro to set. Are you ready? Let's get started. I'm going to start it at the front view. We are going to set it up for the ring size for whatever that fitting into your ring size. I highly recommend that make it into the true size you want it to have. Then I'm going to draw a straight line starting from zero and with the two arm and for whatever the degree do you want the ring to uh, to open. Then the command I'm going to use is curve from two view and we're going to pick up this one and this one that allow us to have this over here. And the reason I'm doing that is because if I just turning around this one, for example, as you can see, the ring will become oval right here. And this is really important. If it turning oval, your ring size is going to be smaller. So this is really important here. We want to actually keep the ring size correctly. So let me turn this into the red colors. It's easier for you to see. Okay. Now we want to creating the profile. I'm going to using the conic corners for the rectangle. I'm going to snapping into the core zone and holding my shift coming back for whatever size you want your ring to be and simply just moving this from the midpoint to the quadrant so that will be right there and keep in mind that and this is really important too this line over here need to be straight if you have this guy tilted as you can see it's cutting into inside of the ring and the size won't be correctly so make sure that it's facing north and south second thing i wanted to do is create a profile on the other side for uh, better control so i'm simply just going to use a rotate tool and pick up my object snapping to the zero and i'm just gonna rotate it 180 degree over there. So to create a surface, we are going to use the sweep one rail. This is the rail cross section here and here. Make sure they all align. And I usually like to align to inside of a ring shank that has a less problem uh, when you need to do uh, anything after that. And make sure you close the sweep. So then you will get your ring in the right side. We're simply going to have this one and then to mirror to the other side like this. So then we will have the bottom ring and make sure the size is correctly. Now that's working on the setting for the pro. You can bring in any size of a pro that you like. I simply just want something super big for this giant pro. Maybe that's too big to reach. Okay, so I think that's a decent size. Uh, I'm going to have a pro going up a little bit and that will be the space for my setting to sit in there. And let's turn off the ring so it's, we have a, a clean design there. Let me lock in this one. So let's do our design first. So I'm gonna use the arc tool and I'm going to snapping into the zero and coming over here, holding my shift, get it really close, but not past the size of my pro. And I want to go something like this. Okay. With this one, simply just want to mirror to the other side and go ahead to join them. If they are too fat, you can always want to scale it down uh, to be the right size that you want. The second thing is I'm going to making a copy by snapping into the end point and coming over here for minus 45 degree. And let me turn this off. It's easier for you to see. So for this one, I'm going to make them smaller or you can make them thinner if you want to. In this case, I'm going to 3D scale and gonna snapping into the end point over here and make them a little bit smaller. Double make sure this is the pattern that you want. I wanted to cut it out the middle. So uh, roughly about 0.6 or 0.7 millimeter. I want to use the offset, the curve to have this cut it out. Okay, so I'm going to bring back the pro making a copy first. So I'm going to control C, control V, which is copy and paste and hiding one of it. All right. so. We are going to dealing with this curve first and we are simply just going to trim it, the one in the middle. 
Okay, and now you can see this is the surface that we have and we can delete the one on the top. I simply want to make them into the thickness. So let's go ahead to use the offset surface and you want to offset outside. Otherwise, you're going to hit the pearl that you have. I'm going to offset for 0.7 millimeter and then uh, make sure solid equal yes. Then we'll have this shape here. The second one, we're going to do the same thing again. Let's turn on the pro that we have. Again, making a copy, hiding one of this, and going to pick up this curve. And using the trim command to trim this one, and also trim the one in the middle. To give it more dimension, this one, I wanted to offset the surface a little bit shallower, so maybe 0.55 and hit enter so you can see there are different depth there. Let's make them a little bit nicer by giving a fitted edges. So let's do something 0.15 millimeter and we want to go with this one and this one. If that look good to you, you want to go ahead to uh, make all the fitted edges the same. And we only need to do outside, we don't need to do inside. All right, so then we'll have this fitted edges Double make sure that they are right. They are closed solid poly surface. Okay, to make them into the seat, we basically go into polar array and we are gonna set it up the center as zero. And I wanted to have four of, four of them for 360 degree. And that's how we get this seat. Now let's go ahead to turn on the pro. I'm going to change to other color and also turn it back to our ring. I want my ring to sit it a little bit lower here so they will have a good contact over there. Most of the time, let me turn this off, and most of the time the Pro will have a post there. So we simply, it's going to put the 20 gauge wire over here. I set it up a radius for 0.4 millimeter. And how long do you need it? Since we are going to cast this, it's better to have enough than not enough, and we can always trim it off. But the proper length will be half size of the pro. I just want to make them a little bit longer. That way, I will ensure the casting will come out. The rest of it will be the B setting. If you'd like to learn more about the stone setting, also check out my course. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think about this tutorial in the comment below, and I will see you next.